In this video, let us try to understand the importance of transconductance. The transconductance of the MOSFET is denoted as GM. The MOSFET transconductance is given by GM equals KN dash into W by L into VGS minus VT. We can substitute VGS minus VT as O dry voltage. Therefore, GM equals KN dash into W by L times O dry voltage. Let us call this as equation 1. From equation 1, we can write the transconductance is proportional to KN dash, where KN dash is given by electron mobility times oxide capacitance. From equation 1, we can also write Transconductance is proportional to aspect ratio of the MOSFET W by L. To obtain larger transconductance, the width of the transistor must be increased and length of the transistor must be decreased. Since the length of the transistor depends on technology, the only way to increase the transconductance is by increasing the width of the transistor. Alternatively, we can say MOSFET must be short and wide in order to increase the transconductance of the MOSFET. From equation 1, we can also write GM is proportional to O drive voltage or excess gate voltage. Again, to increase the transconductance, the O drive voltage must be increased. We will see the consequence of increasing the O drive voltage on transconductance GM. If we increase gate to source voltage, in order to increase the voltage drive voltage, the transconductance GM of the MOSFET increases. However, the voltage signal swing at the drain decreases. The voltage at the drain is given by Vg minus Vt. Increasing the gate to source voltage decreases the voltage at the drain. This in turn decreases the swing at the drive. Next, we can obtain another equation for the transconductance. Gm equals root of 2 times Kn dash into root of W by L into root of drain current ID. Let us call this as equation 2. From equation 2, we can write GM is proportional to root of ID, where ID is the DC bias current. Also, we can write from equation 2, GM is proportional to root of aspect ratio. Now, for ID is equal to 0 0.5 milliampere, KN dash equals 120 microampere per volt square and aspect ratio of the transistor as 1. We obtain from equation 2 Gm as 0.35 milliampere per volt. If we increase the aspect ratio from 1 to 100, then transconductance Gm equals 3.5 milliampere per volt. The aspect ratio when it is increased from 1 to 100, there is a drastic improvement in the transconductance Gm from 0.35 milliampere per volt to 3.5 milliampere per volt. This implies we are getting more mileage as we can compare this with a vehicle. Now we can obtain another equation for the transconductance Gm by substituting Kn dash into W by L as 2 times Id by Vgs minus Vt whole square. VGS minus VT can be written as O drive voltage VOV. Therefore, KN dash into W by L equals 2 times ID by VOV square. If you substitute this relation in equation 1, we get transconductance GM equals 2 times ID divided by O drive voltage. This can also be written as GM equals 2 times ID divided by Vgs minus Vt. Let us call this as equation 3.
we have seen that totally there are three equations for transconductance that are labeled as 1, 2 and 3. We use three design parameters in order to determine the transconductance GM of the MOSFET. Among these three equations, two of them can be chosen independently. For example, we may choose for some value of four drive voltage and certain value of drain current, the required W by L can be estimated and also the transconductance GM can be determined. In this, we will see that the equivalent resistance calculation when resistances are connected in parallel. Let's assume that the resistance R1 is not equal to R2. The equivalent resistance value can be calculated if connected in parallel using this relation. 1 by R equivalent equals 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. This can be rewritten as R equivalent equals R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now, bringing this R2 to the denominator of R1 plus R2, we can write R equivalent as R1 divided by 1 plus R1 by R2. Again, if you bring R1 to the denominator of R1 plus R2, we can write R equivalent as R2 divided by 1 plus R2 by R1. From this equation, let's assume that if R1 is greater than R2, R equivalently we can write R1 by R2 is greater than unity. Then from R equivalent equation, R equivalent will be approximately equal to R2. If we assume R2 is greater than R1, R equivalently R2 by R1 is greater than 1, then R equivalent will be approximately equal to R1. Generally, if R equivalent is less than R1 and R equivalent is less than R2, for any one of these relations, the R equivalent can be estimated by R equivalent should be less than minimum of R1 and R2. Let us illustrate this with an example. Let's assume that 100 ohm and 200 ohm resistors are connected in parallel. Therefore, R equivalent can be written as 100 into 200 divided by 100 plus 200, which is equivalent to 66.66 ohm. We can see that the R equivalent value, which we obtain 66.66 ohm, is less than the smaller of these two resistor value, which is 100 ohm. This also can be understood better by going through this analogy. Let's assume that there is a water in the tub and the pipe is connected for the outlet to for the flow of water. In this example, let's assume that resistance is high. Higher the resistance means the pipe is smaller and it is narrow. The water flow through this outlet is very small since the pipe is smaller. This indicates that R is higher. In another example here, again we consider the tub with uh, two outlets. One of the outlet is almost the same as the one which we have discussed here. However, in another outlet, the pipe is made larger circumference. This indicates that resistance is, is analogous to resistance low. Large amount of water can flow through this larger circumference pipe and small amount of water can flow through the small circumference pipe. Smaller flow indicates higher resistance. Larger flow indicates lower resistance. Net flow from these two outlets will be very much higher. Therefore, the resistance of the net 
these two pipes will be very much lesser. Therefore, this shows that R equivalent will be smaller than the smaller resistance among these two.